This is NASCAR Reviews here, back for another video. Las Vegas race was over, and they had a a fight, you could say. But Joey Logano wrecked Kyle Busch on the final lap, final turn, and Kyle Busch' day was over with. You know, he was over his his day was over with already. But and then when they went and Logano finished third or fourth, on, I don't know. But and then. On pit road, a lot of chaos happened, and Kyle Busch went to Joey Logano's pit crew and clobbered him in the face. People look on TV; they saw look like Kyle Busch got beat up by his Logano's crew. That was false. He came up to Logano and knocked him in the face, and he went down, started fighting the pit crew. And from what I'm looking from, and what I've been told, is that Logano hit Todd Gordon or his dad. One or two. They hit one. He went one or two just now. So that's something weird. because And Kyle Busch trying to fight two officials. And that's good. Like, in my opinion, Kyle Busch, he has the right to be mad. But all that stuff is stupid. Logano shouldn't wreck him. I know Bush did something on the final lap to come down to this slide job on him. But that's stupid. And then Logano, he did it intentionally. That's why everybody hates him. Let's say, let's name them all. Harvick, Kenza, Kurt Busch, Kyle Busch, Martin Trek Jr., you name it. They all hate him. He's the most hated person in NASCAR, if not NASCAR history. I bet you next week at Phoenix, Kyle Busch will retaliate. Not in just in the X or truck or not in the Sprint Cup or Monster Energy Cup series. He'll do it in the Xfinity series. They're not gonna be. It's gonna be a while before you see something happen, like that NASCAR is gonna do. The NASCAR is gonna let them play it out, and you know what's gonna happen? It's gonna be like 2015 all over again, and Kyle Busch taking the loss, Matt Kenseth. But now he's retaliate, and he and my, like, NASCAR shouldn't get involved in it. It's, the, it's Legato's fault. He's stupid. He wants to come over there and wreck him and expect not a punch to be thrown at him. And at the end, Bush had marks from all the way around and blood was coming down. And Kyle Bush, he went over there by himself and fought them all. All that stuff's ignorant. Kyle Bush part is nothing bad. It's all right. But Legato's part... I think NASCAR should do something to him. Suspend him for a couple races. That's intentional. You're messing, you're messing up a, I don't know, about a couple hundred thousand dollar car. Hundred, or hundred thousand cars. Or hundred thousand dollar car. That's too expensive to be messing up a car. I think NASCAR should do something about it and suspend him for a couple races. Logano, man, he is, he's just a big old crybaby. And that's why I think you can see somebody knock him out this year. Not it might be Kyle Busch. It might be somebody else. Because not everybody likes Logano. I bet you about 65% of the field hates Logano. And Logano is not a good driver. If he was good, he would have won a championship already. He's been in two out of the three or two out of the four championship runs, or he's been in the final four. And he still hasn't won a championship. So he can't say he's a better driver than Kyle Busch in his remarks. Because Kyle Busch has won a championship and, and Logano hasn't. And Kyle Busch only won, won, he's one for two. He's And Logano's zero for three or four or two. He may, he, he's just a sucky driver all the way around. Logano's, Logano ain't going to make it big deal. I know Penske signed him a contract at Daytona this year. But he ain't going to do nothing. Logano is just a big old crybaby. But we'll see when the chase time comes around and uh, and we'll see if Kyle Bush had if Kyle Bush didn't retaliate yet, he'll wait to the chase to do it. And he gonna make sure Logano does not win a championship. But I ain't in my opinion NASCAR should do something to Low Logano, but not Kyle Bush. Kyle Bush did the right thing. Logano didn't. <clears throat> You don't you don't come and wreck somebody on a final lap. 
it was not it's not just that. He did a slide jump up the track to hit Bush and Bush spun out. And Bush He was his only per he was the only person of his whole team to go over there and fight. And then two people came and he like I y'all look up some glut guy on YouTube. He has a the the real video on it. And he came up to him and knocked him out and Lagana went backwards and went and went off. And then at the end of the race they asked him on Fox, they said, what happened to you? He said, Nothing happened, nothing happened. And then something did happen. He got hit in the face. That's what happened. And y'all Fox did a terrible job in my opinion. They did a really bad job from covering that. Because NASCAR's gonna look at it and they uh, think Kyle Bush did something bad. But when you know Logano did something, and that's why Logano's quiet about it. If NASCAR doesn't know that Logano got hit in the face, they probably blame Kyle Bush for it. But if Logano, if Logano got hit in the face, they will blame him because it's all all that stuff Logano's doing is ignorant nowadays. Like in 2015, he wrecked Kansas at Kansas when Kansas was going to win their Kansas race, and then in Martinsville, Logano's acting like a little Cry baby, I can say a lot of words for that about Logano, but I, I'm not. But Logano can't gotta watch out because one day he's gonna mess up the wrong person and get screwed up. But like the back to 2015, he came at Martinsville. Matt Kenseth wrecked him while Kenseth was running like in the third, low 30s, a couple, uh, couple hundred lap downs, or and then Logano got wrecked while he was leading. And Matt Kenseth, he wrecked him. And Logano was asking like, "Why that happened?" He's he's actually, he's so surprised about it. But that's all right. And then Kenseth got suspended. That was the stupidest thing ever. Because Kyle or Joe Logano wrecked some people, but he never gets the blame for it. All he's just a little crybaby. And I think one day. Like I said earlier, he didn't mess with the wrong person and get wrecked. I'll bet you that's Dale Senior racing and he was in Kyle West's position and got wrecked by Logano. Logano wouldn't be the normal person anymore. He'd have a black eye and all that stuff. And Logano, in my opinion, all he is is a crybaby. He wants everything his way. He's a. I'm surprised he won the 500. He's too scared. But it's. So that means up to NASCAR do something. It's their, it's their fault if they don't do nothing to Logano. Miss Kyle Busch had, did nothing wrong. NASCAR, y'all should do something about it. I ain't blaming on y'all, but yeah, I think y'all should do something to Logano. It's, it's not Logano's first time doing something stupid. He did like, Harvick back in a long time, in like in 2009, I think. Kansas 2015. Truex last year at Fontana. Kurt Busch at Daytona, he read Kurt Busch, and Kurt Busch was probably going to win the race if he had made an outside move. And then he got today. I think Logano should should be suspended, and people out there agree with me probably. Logano should be suspended because he's wrecking people for no reason most of the time. But that's my thing about Logano. Logano is stupid. But that's it. I have very strong opinions about that. This is NASCAR Youth here saying peace.